the last defender. Bastion of course, plays for Andy Muckler. Davis curls one in, but that should have been even the goalkeeper. Look about him, knocks Stewart on the head. And now Stewart falls to the ground. Uh, looks like there's a bit of trouble the goalkeeper at the moment. And if that's the case, they haven't got a substitute goalkeeper on the line. First, out of play, Leonard, another goal scorer closing in, turning his match being given to Scarborough, by Mr Watson, he's going to be changed for some reason, in fact the goalkeeper's coming out. So Stewart comes off. Graham Burroughs comes on and they haven't got a substitute goalkeeper. They've only come with the 14 players today. So... Chance for Chester and a great save by Evans. That was good football by Chester City. And a good stop by Evans from River. Again, well, most of the attack at the moment. It's whipped in, Rocket doesn't get there. A chance and another great save by Evans and a late challenge on the keeper as well. There, the offside flag was up anyway, but a bit of a rough challenge on the back of Mark Evans after that save by the substitute Barrow. Right across the borough back line. Mark Evans, resulting clearance. Another cross into the danger zone. Mark Evans down and again saved. And if there's a man of the match in this game up to now, it's the Scarborough goalkeeper. And I'm not sure if it shouldn't be the case in a home game against a weakened, depleted Chester side. And as we speak, one of the scouts disappears. <laughs> Chester again, and the consent that there's a goal coming. This could be it. It is, but the referee's seen something there. And Scarborough very fortunate. Mark Evans at the moment. And Calvert looks straight into trouble. The flag stays down. One on one situation. Evans gets a touch and a good recovery challenge by Jason Rocket. But again, Scarborough very, very lucky not to go one down. But Calvert there caught in midfield dreaming. David Thompson, Limmer, and Rock is pulling at his shirt, and that was a penalty. The referee didn't see it, and Scarborough escape again. And the referee seemed to be in a good position there. That was certainly a penalty. They're pulling on the shirt by Rocket. And if the referee had got a clear view of that, that was a penalty. Another good move by Chester, and it's the barley time! It's old Chester City. Chris Lightfoot there hitting the bar. Chairman's door on 
Sunday morning asking for a little bit more money. Calvert. And that was a good attempt. And the substitute goalkeeper did well there to save that young Paul Corker off the corner. Calvert caught it on the volley. And Mark Kane did remarkably well there to get something in the way of that. Chester again, break. And this must be a goal. And Mark Evans pulls off a tremendous save from Mark Leonard. That was goal bound. And Evans did miraculously well there to turn that one round. But again, Chester deserved the lead. And Mark Evans really is the one for a player that shot this afternoon. And, oh, that looks as though for one moment it had gone over Mark Evans. And again, Scarborough forces to survive. Just for a moment, it looked as though it took a bad bounce there. Oh, now a chance. Chance for Chester to seal it. And Jason Rockham tried to get there, but it's a winner for Chester. They deserve that. And it's Mark Leonard that has scored the goal in the 88th minute. And it's no more than Chester City deserved.